tell us what that was all about? Yeah, that's a uh, start of our reconciliation week at the club and our connection um, obviously with Amy Park and the Melbourne Storm and coming together to celebrate Indigenous uh, peoples um, and yeah, our, our cultural differences between Melbourne Football Club and the Melbourne Storm and coming together and celebrating what the week is. It's great to get the two codes together. You spent a bit of time inside the walls but out there it's good to sort of you know, get together as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, and they've got some some boys in there and, and it's good to have conversations out here and catch up. Um, obviously they're always in and out and uh, we're here a bit more than them so um, to have some conversations in and around Reconciliation Week was uh, yeah, enjoyable. Hey, pretty cold out here but uh, in a couple of days you'll be up in Darwin in, in the warmth. Yep. Yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah and, and that's um, obviously with our sponsorship NT Tourism being able to go up there and, and treat those games like our home games. Uh, I think we've, that's a bit of an advantage for us, so we're going in and, and trying to make sure that um, we treat them like home games and enjoy it, and, and um, hopefully some fans come out and um, enjoy the spectacle. Enjoy the spectacle, but it must win too, isn't it? It is, it is. Obviously, we haven't started the way we wanted to, so we need to go up there and perform our best. Um, probably the last three weeks out of the last four, we've, we've felt like we're getting back to our best footy, so um, yeah, we're going to go up there and try and display our brand of footy again. What's it mean for the Storm to be involved here and sort of coming together, I suppose? And how close are you guys with Melbourne uh, usually? Yeah, it's really good. I think we're blessed to uh, share the precinct with a couple of you know, really high-profile clubs. So we all get around that, whether that's performance-wise or off the field. And uh, as Nev said, it's good to open the conversation. And I've really enjoyed the awareness side culturally. Uh, we've got some really good representatives in Peter Robertson and the players. And to get around that, learn, understand it, I've really enjoyed that part of it. Full credit to the dancers out there in the cold. I mean, it's about five degrees. <laughs> yeah, mate, it's tough. It's one of the coldest days I've experienced. So uh, our next game's in New Zealand. So hopefully it's not uh, not as bad as this and we can uh, get away with some decent weather. You've had, obviously, some success in going through a pretty good period at the moment. What sort of advice can you pass on to, to the Melbourne boys who are struggling on the field at the moment? Yeah, I guess it's just best to focus internally, I think, and those relationships and the connections. I think in the past, if I've experienced anything like this, it's important to focus on the why, why you're doing what you're doing, and really use that as an example and try and get through those tough times. So it's just about coming together, focus on what you guys are doing internally, and uh, that's been a really good strong point for us, and I think we've had some success behind it. Um, Jake Lever, is it, you know, do you think he might be come back in this week? I mean, he's didn't complete training, but um, there's still a possibility. Yeah, oh, I'm not sure if you complete a train or not, but um, from a rehab point of view, a fitness point of view, I think everyone's pretty happy with where he's at. Got through two games, um, sorry, game and a half, um, but yeah, from a fitness point of view, oh, I think he's ticked a lot of boxes, so it's up to the fitness staff and the coaches now to see. Um, obviously, he's been out for 12 months. Um, another week won't hurt, but yeah, it's going to be up to them and, and the conversation had that's going to really set him up for the rest of the year. Where are you at at the moment? Have you be frustrated at the moment? Yeah, uh, five weeks in um, post-operation on the left knee, so um, hopefully another five weeks all goes well. But um, yeah, I'm not putting uh, a number on it. I just want to be able to take a week by week, and if things start to get better, then I can probably ramp up the program a bit you more. you carry that for a little while? I mean, you're all bandaged up there. You look to be banged up playing in a couple of weeks there. Yeah, oh, a couple of weeks. Um, it was just probably one incident during the Essendon game where um, I wasn't aware, but um, I, well, I was post-game, so just had to manage it for a couple of weeks and it got to a point where I just couldn't play on. So. Yeah, well, last week's uh, Indigenous Rebels become quite a spectacle. How far do you think it's come in your time? I know you weren't part of it. Obviously, you saw um, what happened last week. Yep. Um, oh, it's just obviously the celebration in and around the past players and present players. Uh, but the education side of things uh, has gone to another level through the jumpers, um, through the players speaking out and not only the, the Indigenous players but the non-Indigenous and the, the conversations that, that come from that um, because yeah the AFL industry have done a great job but the, it's more now bringing the public along for the journey and getting them to understand especially from an Indigenous players point of view. And in post game when all the games had the huddle all the teams come together. Yep. Um, what did you think of that? I thought it was brilliant personally. Oh, I think that's another step in the right direction so um, the more people start to understand more awareness um, going forward, the better the game's going to be, um, not only for Indigenous players, but uh, us as a nation.